Look, things can change very fast in this race, and it is very possible that by the time you see this video, a winner will have already been declared. Either Joe Biden or Donald Trump may have already reached 270 electoral votes. So what I'm going to talk about, it captures one moment in time. And as I record this video, Joe Biden is currently in the lead. He has 264 total electoral votes, and all he needs is six more. If he pulls ahead in Georgia, that'll do it. If he wins Nevada, which he's currently leading in, that'll do it. He may not even need Pennsylvania. So as it stands right now, it looks as if Joe Biden is going to become the next president of the United States. That can change. However, at this moment in time, Donald Trump is seeing what we're all seeing, and he's freaking out. He is utterly melting down, and we expected this. And part of me wants to laugh because, you know, to see someone who caused so much harm and damage to this country finally see the consequences of his actions, it's nice to see. It feels nice. At the same time, however, what he's doing is dangerous. The things that he's saying, what he is doing to get his supporters to watch the polls, try to get the votes to stop, this is dangerous. This is undemocratic. And even though it's nice to see him suffer a little bit after so many Americans have, have suffered under his watch, at the end of the day, this is all horrible. I would rather him act like an adult and accept the results of this election as Joe Biden would. Uh, but he's not. And um, he is throwing temper tantrums. Literally, people close to Trump are confirming that he was watching those results come in and throwing literal temper tantrums. Um, you've been working the phones. What was going on this, behind the scenes at the White House? So as a Republican source said to me, this is a, a senior official who is normally an ally of the president, said that Trump had a temper tantrum last night, that he saw that the numbers could start going against him, that he wanted to declare victory while he thought that he was ahead. And this, you know, as you've been saying, John, this was not a surprise to us. The White House had been sort of forecasting for weeks that this might happen. But here's the thing. We know how to count votes, as you've been pointing out all morning. What the president did last night was so chaos, confusion, uh, undermine democracy. And I will tell you, the Republicans I spoke to this morning are not happy with him. Let me read three quotes from three different officials. The first person said he is behaving as expected badly. The second person said that Trump is afraid of mail-in ballots. And the third person said that what he said last night was, quote, indefensible. And, and just to reiterate, there is no evidence that we have seen of fraud. Uh, these states are just trying to count the vote, no matter what Donald Trump said at 2.30 in the morning. A grown man in his 70s throwing temper tantrums. I mean, it's not surprising, but to literally have that be reported, which I believe is, is still, it's something, right? Now, to all of the Republicans who are quietly criticizing Donald Trump and, you know, anonymously taking shots at him, saying that he should behave himself, I have no respect for these people. You should go on the record. If you actually care about democracy, you should actually say that what he's doing is terrible. In fact, someone who I probably agree with on nothing, Ben Shapiro, even he has enough integrity to admit that when Donald Trump declared himself the winner last night, that was dangerous and irresponsible. So it, it doesn't matter. Like, this isn't about whether or not you're Democrat or Republican or where you lean ideologically speaking. This is about democracy. And everyone, regardless of their political ideology or party affiliation, should care about democracy. So any Republican who's not speaking up and condemning Donald Trump's blatant attempt to delegitimize this election and steal it away by stopping the counts, I mean, they're, they're cowards. And I don't even know, like, Trump supporters currently are showing up to places in Wisconsin and, and Michigan, as far as I know. I'm not sure how many states this is happening in, but they're chanting, stop the count. Stop the vote. Like, you have to understand that it, as it stands now, if they stop the votes, Joe Biden wins. So do you want democracy to actually play out? Do you want the votes to be counted or do you not? Because if I'm Donald Trump, 
I want the votes to be counted, especially in states where, you know, it hasn't been called yet, like Nevada at the time I record this. Now, what's interesting is that Michigan was already called hours ago, and after it was called, Donald Trump took to Twitter to declare victory in states that have not been called for him, in states that have been called for Joe Biden, like Michigan. He tweeted out, we have claimed for electoral vote purposes the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, which won't allow legal observers, the state of Georgia, and the state of North Carolina, each one of which has a big Trump lead. Additionally, we hereby claim the state of Michigan if, in fact, there was a large number of secretly dumped ballots, as has been widely reported. Now again, Michigan has been called for Joe Biden. You did not win this, so it doesn't matter what you say. It went to Joe Biden. Um, and he's talking about a secretly, uh, a large number of secretly dumped ballots that has been widely reported. Where? Zero evidence for this. The only shenanigans that's happening is occurring because of you. Because your postmaster general is intentionally trying to sabotage mail-in ballots, only delivering 93% of mail-in ballots on election day, missing thousands of mail-in ballots across the country. But yet, he's claiming it's Democrats who are the ones who are trying to cheat and steal this election after he's been fear-mongering about mail-in ballots and trying to sabotage mail-in ballots instructing his supporters to not vote by mail while he sabotages the system that Democrats will most likely use to vote. But it's Democrats who are stealing the election, not Donald Trump. Fuck out of here. So as he throws this temper tantrum, like, I hope he really feels horrible right now. Shame on him for just blatantly undermining democracy. This is what dictators do. This is what authoritarian regimes do. And we have a president who refuses to concede, most likely, if it is in fact called for Joe Biden. We have a president who is refusing to accept that the state of Michigan did not go his way. And on top of that, what he's encouraging among his supporters who believe everything he says is even more dangerous. His campaign sent out this email. The Democrats will try to steal this election, just like I predicted from the start. Mail-in ballots are leading to chaos like you've never seen. Plain and simple. The radical left is going to do whatever it takes to try and rip a Trump-Pence victory away from you. And that's why I'm coming to you now. I need your help to ensure we have the resources to protect the results. We can't allow the left-wing mob to undermine our election. I'm asking my fiercest and most loyal defenders like you to fight back. Now, we don't have the full screenshot of that email. I'm not on his email list. So the person who shared this cropped out where he then asked for money. So he's not explicitly saying fight back, go do violence. He's asking fight back by giving us money so we can fight this legally, just for context. However, the language that he is using is still deeply, deeply undemocratic and troubling. He's saying Democrats are trying to steal this election. Mail-in ballots are causing chaos like we've never seen. And some words, like the language that he's choosing to use very specifically and intentionally, are designed to make his supporters take action, as they are now. He refers to the left-wing mob and wants them to fight back. And even though he has plausible deniability because the way that they're saying uh, they should fight back is by giving them money, I mean, these words are very, very explosive. He's saying right now, explicitly so, they're trying to steal this. This is fraudulent. So even if he, you know, didn't say, give me money, what he's saying here, this is undemocratic. He's trying to delegitimize this election because it's not going his way. So this is, um, it's partially funny because his meltdown is, um, is fun to watch in a way, but it's still terrifying to watch because this is now an incumbent president. This isn't an outsider who has not yet secured power. This is an incumbent president who has power, who will be a lame duck president if he in fact loses until January 21st. So imagine the chaos he's going to cause between now and then. Ugh. It's, uh, it's going to be a long journey and I am already exhausted, so I can't imagine how we will all be feeling come January. But, you know, this is this is what we've got. It seems like Joe Biden's going to win. And if, uh, you know, everything goes the way it's looking right now with Nevada leaning Biden, it's over for Trump. So one way or another, he's going to have to accept the results. He can try to steal it if he wants to, but you don't get to deny reality 
As Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings, so regardless of what you say, how loud you cry and scream, how violent your supporters may get, the person who will win is the person who got the most votes. Period. End of story. And we will count those votes. Fuck your feelings. The votes get counted. If you don't like that, that's democracy for you. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. In 2016, Donald Trump won. I didn't like that. Liberals didn't like that. Socialists didn't like that. And we were mad, but we couldn't overturn the fucking results. As a Bernie Sanders supporter, Democrats all united to stop Bernie Sanders. Obama made some calls to Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar, and uh, everyone dropped out to back Biden to consolidate the vote. We lost that election. It sucks, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Can't do jack shit about it right now. Can't cry over spilled milk. All you can do is get better at organizing, appeal to more voters. You can be mad at Donald Trump for completely bungling COVID-19 because had he actually handled this pandemic like a grown-up, he probably would still be the president, probably wouldn't even be close. I think had it not been for COVID-19 and the subsequent economic crash, Donald Trump would have won easily. He would have beat someone like Joe Biden, who nobody is enthusiastic about. So, I mean, look, it doesn't matter what Trump says. The results are the results. They're not what he says they are. They're what they are in actuality, what reality dictates, what we can see with our eyes, what the votes say. So we count the votes. If you don't like that, too fucking bad. That's democracy. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?